Red Edition, welcome, happy day, hey, hey, wisdom, a liberal is someone who feels a great debt to his fellow man, which debt he proposes to pay off with your money. There, you got that? Okay, 20% of adults use smartphones during sex. Do you get that? I don't get that. I mean, where does this stuff come from? Who does these surveys? And better yet, who, who answers these questions? I mean, I don't get it. New technology has began its invasion into the final frontier. One in five American adults between ages 18 to 34 now use his or her smartphone during sex. I don't think I want to know any more past that. I mean, that's too much information, but just sharing with you. Here's a guy, his name is Justin Carter. He's 19 years old. He made some remarks on Facebook. Not so good. It was a forum and it was a game. He started arguing with another player and he became sarcastic. The name of the game was League of Legends and someone goaded him saying, hey, you're pretty messed up in the head. And he reported back or replied back. I should say, yes, I am crazy. I think I'm going to go and shoot up a kindergarten now. Carter then added, just kidding. And L O L laugh out loud, right? So that should have taken the edge off it. A woman in Canada, though, didn't uh, get the humor to all that. She saw it. She phoned the police in Texas. The police went and picked him up, and he's still in jail. The parents, the family, can't come up with a $500,000 bail, and they said that he might get or will get up to 10 years in prison. Wow, he was communicating a terrorist threat. If convicted, he will face up to 10 years in prison, I should add, because he's not convicted yet, but he is sitting in jail because he was playing on Facebook. Kind of watch what you say. I would say the mayor of Huntington, Quebec, has been under fire lately because he says he deliberately tries to kill cats. Meow, meow, he sees a cat on the road and he tries to run it down. And he says, those cats have no business being on the road. If a stray cat is in the road, bang, I accelerate and I want to knock it off, right? <laughs> the SPCA is looking into that. But more than that, he now is saying, I'm sorry, I kill cats because everyone knows about it. It's been all of the, in all of the press. And, you know, there's nothing worse than a mayor. In Quebec, they're all up for something anyway. Corruption, and there's so much of that going on. And now you got a cat killer. I mean, all the dots don't connect when you're out trying to kill cats. And better yet, if you do it and you like it, maybe keep it a secret. Don't go tell people because you are a mayor, right? People voted for you, stupid man. A little bit scary. The Royal Bank, just yesterday, I was on my Yahoo for my mail, and it's an English Yahoo, right? Yahoo.com, are you with me? And the Royal Bank of Canada was advertising in a banner in French. All French. Nobody understands that, except the people in Quebec, and their law is, is that all of their language is only in one language, in French. Why have you got French? on an English site. Better yet, Yahoo, why did you even allow it or accept it? You got the Royal Bank saying that. What's wrong with that picture? It's kind of like calling your friend Sam, George. You're doing it to tick him off, right? You're doing it to make him angry, and that's what they're doing. Rona in Canada does the same thing at Chorus. A restaurant in Canada does the same thing. They go out west at all their sightings, just French first, and then English. And nobody speaks French. I think it's under 1% of the people understand it in Western Canada and they don't use it as their regular language or as their everyday language. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because they're getting political and businesses should not get political. That's my job. They should stick to lending money to Brazil or whatever it is they do. Here is a guy. He saw his wanted picture on a sheriff's office fugitive of the day Facebook post. So he replied and he says, I didn't do that. I'm innocent. I was set up by a drug head and I'm in the hospital and this is the hospital I'm in. So of course they came and they arrested him, right? Turned out though he really didn't do it. He was set up, but uh, he also wouldn't cooperate with him. The police said, phone us. And he didn't. He just kept corresponding. I guess he was into the Facebook thing, huh? Chickens. <laughs> Years ago, people wanted chickens. People lived in downtown New York City and Los Angeles and Calgary. I want to raise a chicken now. And finally, a lot of these places have allowed that to happen. And people raised or started to raise chickens. And now the issue is they don't want the chickens anymore. And the SPCA says, what's going on? Every town that we're located, we now have hundreds and hundreds of chickens. People are giving up on their chickens. And that ain't nice. My question would be, are they right wing or are they left wing chickens? Hey, just wondering. 25% of all men in America. America are on medication for mental illness, 25%. That's scary. I mean, that means 75% are running around untreated. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.